God bless you, family. My name is Minister Robert Perkins. I'm the minister at First Central Baptist Church in the Stapleton area. And I come today to bring you forth a word of encouragement. But before I bring you forth the word of encouragement, I'd like to thank my pastor, the Reverend Demetrius S. Carolina, uh, my lovely wife, my fellow ministers, deacons, and congregations of First Central. Let us pray. Wise and eternal Father, Father God, we just thank you for the day, Lord, for, for having the opportunity to bring forth your word to your people. I pray, Lord, as I bring forth the word, Lord, that you decrease my voice and increase yours. But most of all, Lord, be glorified in any and everything I say. This is my prayer in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Well, I'm coming here today, um, guys, because, um, as you know, we're in this, um, what some may consider a perilous time. But um, if you look through the history of the Bible, there was times like this and we still survive as God's children. And even though um, it may seem a little perilous, we have to stand on the unchanging hand of God. Today's word of encouragement I'm gonna bring to you is to be able to stay committed to God's word, amen? I'll be coming from the book of Proverbs um, 3, verses one through four, and it reads, my son, do not forget my law, but let your heart keep my commands. For the length of days and long life and peace, they will add to you. Let not mercy and truth forsake you. Bind them around your neck. Write them on your heart. And so find favor and high esteem in the sight of God and man. Amen. So as I go through the scriptures, I won't keep you too long. Scripture 1, when it speaks to my son, do not forget my law. Let your heart keep my commands. When God's speaking about law, he speaks about the principles, which is the teaching, the direction that God has given to his people for the benefit and spiritual well-being. So let me ask you a question. How are you manifesting God's laws in your life? Are you doubting God in this season? Are you taking the word of man over the word of God? Though it's of utter importance to pay attention to what's going on in this fallen world, God always have the final say-so. I realize it's a, it's a, it's a rough time and, 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 you know, one day man is saying this and the next day man is saying that, but God's word in his hand is unchanging and that's what we should stick to. The book of Psalms 119, verse 89 and 90 speaks and says, forever, O Lord, your word is settled in heaven. Your faithfulness endures to all generations. You establish the earth and it abides. Now, if God said it in his word, it shall come to pass, because as we know, God is faithful. Now, verse 2 speaks, and it says, For the length of days and long life and peace, they will add to you. Now, we're not talking about worldly peace. We're talking about God's peace, the peace that surpasses all understanding. Now, perfect peace comes not from the absence of bad circumstances, but the reassuring presence of God despite our circumstances. Now, within God's perfect peace, you'll find totality or completeness, success, fulfillment, wholeness, harmony, security, and well-being, in spite of what the world has to offer. We've been in tight situations before, and I promise you, 100% of the things you've been through in life, guess what, guys? You survive, and I promise you, I can't tell you when, but I do promise you, this too shall pass, amen? Now verse three speaks and it says, let not mercy and truth forsake you. Bind them around your neck, write them on your heart. Let me tell you, we do not forfeit days. Please don't forfeit mercy and truth, but live up to them and preserve your interest in them. Do not forget these, but live up on them and take comfort in them. God's mercy, and his grace is new every day. We woke up this morning. You're hearing the sound of my voice. That means you're winning. And God's not done with you. Amen. It tells us to bind them around your neck as the most graceful ornament. It is the greatest honor that we are capable of in this world. To have an interest in the mercy and truth of God. The Bible tells us to write them up on the table of your heart. As dear to you, your portion and most delightful entertainment. We have to take a pleasure in applying them and thinking them over, not just reading the word, being hearers of the word, but being doers of the word, 
even in this time. Mercy shuts out all selfishness and hate. And the truth, that truth shuts out all falsehood, hypocrisy, and deceit. Verse 4 speaks in verse 4 says, And to find favor and high esteem in the sight of God and man. Let me tell you, saints, there's nothing more gratifying than favor from God. I'm talking about the open doors. I'm talking about the doors he closed. I'm talking about peace in the middle of even this pandemic, knowing that God is the same yesterday, today, and forever. We can go on and on, but all I ask of you in the season and beyond is to stay committed to God's word. Amen.